last week went to Milwaukee because of the rioting behind a police shooting of a young African-American male by a black officer. And the city was being burned down in certain parts of the black community by protesters. So Donald Trump decided to go to Milwaukee and speak about the conditions of America and why he felt black people should vote for him. He even went on to give lay out reasons why he felt we should. Let me say this to the brothers and sisters who listened and watched that speech. People should vote for him. He even went on to give. We may not like the vessel that said what he said, but I ask us to truly examine what he said because it is a fact that for 54 years, we have been voting for the Democratic Party like no other race in America, and they have not given us the same loyalty and love that we have given them. We as black people have to re-examine the relationship. I agree. Well, we're being pimped like prostitutes, and they're the big pimps pimping us politically, promising us everything, and we get nothing in return. We got to step back now as black people and say we got to look at all the parties and vote our best interests. Look, I, I couldn't agree with you more, Quinell. I couldn't agree with you more. And I think what's going on, I know what's going on, is you take your CNNs, you take your NBC, CBS, ABC, and, and to a certain degree, every once in a while, the network that I won't mention because we're on it right now, uh, they seem to have this opinion that Donald Trump is a horrific individual and he can't do anything right. And they're nervous, I think, that he may come in and start doing things the right way. And you know what? He does, I believe, is the man that is going to move things in the right direction. Look, things that come out of his mouth and the way he says things sometimes, I think and I, to myself and I shake my head, well, goodness spoke, gracious. But you're he right. He spoke directly to black people. Right. And I want to say and encourage your brothers and sisters, Barack Obama... Our president served two terms, the first black president ever. But did our condition get better? Did financially, politically, academically, with education in our community, did things get better? Are our young people working more than what it was before they, they came into office? They got worse. The condition got worse. Right. So now we as black people have to do and remember what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said. No politician can save the black community. We got to do it ourselves. And you know what? The six years that you and I have been doing this, we have come together. And what's interesting to me, and I've been saying this an awful lot to people that ask me about my relationship with you, white people and black people, I say, it's very interesting. We disagree on many things, but we've also come to the middle on many other things. And we're beginning to see things the way they should be. So I'm glad you're saying what America, you're saying. America's in trouble. And I want to say to black and white people, only a fool fights in a burning house. This house is on fire. Remember that if you plan on voting for Hillary Clinton. God, God forbid.